The University of Vermont is a public institution that was founded in 1791. It has a total undergraduate enrollment of just under 10,000 and has been ranked a top up-and-coming school by U.S. News & World Report. I'm Eric Clemens for Comcast Newsmakers at Vermont College of Fine Arts in Montpelier. Tom Sullivan, president of UVM, joins us now. Tom, welcome to the program. Thank you very much, Great Eric. Great to have you with us. Now, keeping UVM accessible and affordable has always been one of your top priorities. Tell us about that process. It is indeed. Uh, in fact, uh, we have a strategic action plan, and the number one principle within that strategic action plan is affordability and financial access for our students. We want to make sure that that front door of the university, from an admission standpoint, once academically qualified, is an easy path for students to come in. We want to make sure that there are not financial barriers to the great success that we think students can achieve once they're admitted to the University of Vermont. So it's our number one uh, priority right now is affordability and financial access. And, and how is financial aid a part of that equation? Because I know that's important as well. Yes, indeed. Financial aid is, is a critical component of that. About a quarter of our operating budget, 25%, is devoted to scholarships and financial aid. This year, we are providing over $104 million in scholarships and financial aid for students. About 87% of our students are on financial aid. And this is really important so that we can reduce their anxieties in going to college and making sure that they can focus on being the student that we know they uh, are capable of being. And um, we're very proud of the record that we're setting at the University of Vermont with regard to financial access so that they can be very successful on the journey through the four short years at the university as an undergraduate. You touched on this a little bit earlier in our conversation. Many schools focus on that front door policy, the admissions part yes. of it, but you have a little bit longer view. Tell us a bit about that. Yes, we really do. Our, our focus is on educating the total student. The um, focus academically is on critical thinking skills, problem solving skills, communication skills, the written and oral expression and being able to work collaboratively with people. We think that's exactly what the real world uh, wants in our students, and we really do focus on that. We also focus on student learning outcomes. We have very identified and measurable outcomes that we want students to be able to learn both the substantive knowledge as well as uh, student learning outcomes and student developmental outcomes, the, the maturity, the development of the self and the person. And very much more recently, we are focusing on integrating career counseling into the academic counseling so that from the student perspective, it's a rather seamless path from thinking about one's major and minor into how that may lead to an internship, a summer opportunity, or a co-op, and smoothly lead into being career and job ready when they graduate in four years. That's very much a, a priority of ours to integrate the academic with career counseling and readiness. And you are one of the few privileged college presidents that have the opportunity to go to the White House to develop strategies on keeping colleges accessible and affordable. Tell us a little bit about your experience in D.C. Yes, in January, the President and the First Lady invited a number of presidents of colleges and universities and nonprofit and foundations to join them for a very serious conversation, a day and a half conference, on uh, affordability and financial access, tying right back to our number one uh, priority at the university, and I think one of the reasons I probably was invited to the White House conference. And this was really focused on um, how we can pay attention to students in lower income families and middle income families having the opportunity to go to college. How do we reduce the cost mm -hmm. associated with college to make sure that they are successful at the end? Tom Sullivan, thanks so much for being with us on the program. My pleasure, thank you. And thank you for watching this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Eric Clemens, we'll see you next time.